Ooh, what's going on people, it's Amanda YB, back once again. So, as covered yesterday, we've all seen now Johnny the Romford Bull Fisher versus Alan the Cabbage. <laughs> Alan, <laughs> Alan the Cabbage Babbage, man, that's a mad one. That wasn't mine though, whoever it was in the comments, man, salute to you. <laughs> Alan the Alan El Cabage Savage, unbelievable. <laughs> anyway, we've seen that fight now. Um, <laughs> some cat said in the comments. Some cat goes, he goes, um, <laughs> Alan Babbage aged <laughs> like a fine cabbage. Yeah, that's the bottom line, people. That's how he's aged, right? Like, imagine you bought a cabbage, Tesco finest, Waitrose, yeah, Waitrose, John Lewis, Primo cabbage. How would it age? Like Alan, for sure. Anyway, that fight happened. And in that video, we talked about what's next for the Romford Bull. Yeah, who is he going to bull off next? Eddie Hearn lost his head, though. And Eddie Hearn has a, has, a, he has a thing about doing this, man. He has a thing where it's almost becoming the Eddie Hearn curse. That's the truth. Yeah, there's been a few times in recent history. And you know what? Even with the AJ build-up. Even with the AJ build-up, he wasn't... AJ was doing the talking in the ring, but he, I don't remember Eddie jumping in and grabbing the mic and saying, this guy is the most... Uh... Whenever Eddie does this, where there's been a number of times, uh, you got Geordie Golovkin. <laughs> I, I forgot his name, but... Let's have a look at the Geordie Golovkin. Eddie Home was on a mad one. Geordie Golovkin. Yeah. Here we go. I don't even... <laughs> Look at this, people. I didn't even have. I didn't even know this. This video is up at the top. Yeah, I'm not going to watch it because it's ten minutes long and I can't find it. Lewis Ritson, that's it. Look, Eddie Hearn, you're the Geordie Golovkin, Eddie Hearn, and Lewis Ritson. So, right? Who here has heard of Lewis Ritson? Who here thinks jo Lewis Ritson is Geordie Golovkin? No one. Obviously, you got Dave Allen as well. Dave Allen after the Lucas Brown fight, Eddie Hearn's going nuts. I've waffled. Let's get to what Eddie Hearn said about the Romford Bull. Here we go, people. I'm not going to play the video, but I'll show the audio because you know what the copyright pagans be doing way too much, 100%. We're in a university. Might not even been in a ring. But now you're looking at a guy that I would back against all the domestic heavyweights around the British title level in Britain, right? I said to him, after the Fraser, Fraser Clark, Fabio Wardley fight, I, I phoned him, I said, you will beat them. Fabio's here tonight, Fraser's here, we're coming for them. He's coming for the British title. Copper. So, you heard there from Eddie. Yeah, he's putting it out. Look at Eddie's face there as well. He's like, we're coming for them, we're coming for Fraser Clark. Fraser, even mentioned they're here tonight. Fraser Clark's here tonight. Fabio Wardley's here tonight, and we're coming for you. Whoa. Eddie. Eddie, man, listen. All due respect, you were saying Lewis Ritson is the Geordie Golovkin. Didn't even say you might be. He said, look, read the quotes. You are the Geordie Golovkin. Oh, my God. Let's see what the Geordie... Let's see what Eddie Hearn's self-proclaimed Geordie Golovkin got up to. Do you know what I mean? That's not, not my words. He said it, right? Let's see what Mr. Geordie Golovkin... Oh, no. Geordie Oh, even O'Hara Davies had a go on him. Oh, bunch of Dons had a go on this guy proper as well. Yeah, oh, I'm pretty sure it wasn't far after. When did Eddie Hearn start? Let's see when that video came out. Because this cat got beat, like, in 2018. So I bet this video was, like, six months before Eddie Hearn was running, his, bumping his gums. Let's see when this video actually got leaked. I think the exact date of it. Where is it? Five years ago, August 29th, 2018, yeah? August 29th, 2018, Eddie Hearn comes out saying, you're the Jordy Golovkin. And I, what I don't like about that is, Golovkin, yeah, he carries a certain clout. What I will say is, Golovkin, he, he act, Golovkin was a bit like Vladimir Klitschko, yeah? We don't really know how good Golovkin's skills were. Why? Because there was, like, like Klitschko, he was just around with a bunch of Povetkins. You know what I mean? Pulev's. The, the C-level. No one will ever look at Pulev or Povetkin and say, oh, they're, they're, they're kind of like top heavyweights that could stand in any era. They're any man. Mitch Green would have a go on Povetkin. You know what I mean? If Mitch Green come in there looking to squabble, he'd put it all over Povetkin. He'd put it all over um, 
Pula for sure. Pula don't want to fight like that. These are like the new age, new era European fighters who don't really want to fight. They're a bit stiff. Mitch Green will go in there and just slap them all around the place, in my opinion. Just because it's, it's raw brute force. Burt Cooper will go in there and slap the head off Povetkin and Pulev, for sure. I mean, Dillian White did it. To, come on now. You know, I mean, Dillian White, he ain't no Burt Cooper. That's what we know for a fact. So, the... These heavyweights that Vlad dominated with, they're not like that. And, and Golovkin, yeah, we don't know how good he was, but put it this way. Andre Ward, pound for pound. Canelo, pound for pound. So I guess you can say he does have pound for pound skills because the Canelo fights were close. So he's clearly pound for pound, but he did duck Andre Ward. Anyway, I've digressed. The point is, Golovkin carries a certain level of clout. Yeah, and for you to be sitting there talking about a dude Lewis Ritson being the Geordie version he must have done something to be saying that right he must have done something what had he done bear in mind that video came out at August 2018 the Geordie Golovkin August 2018 so in August 2018 okay at this point he's knocking everyone out look KO 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 he then fights for a European title and Marsh he loses to a man who's lost three times before. Then he goes on and gets KO'd Spark by Ponce. Ponce has a go on him. Ponce nonces him off, essentially. Howard Davis has a go on him. Okay, so he wasn't the Geordie Golovkin. That's what he wasn't. So, why be, why are you talking about the fake Geordie Golovkin? Because Eddie Hearn, like Dave Allen, like the Geordie Golovkin, he has it. When Eddie Hearn starts acting rabid like this, when he starts banging the drums, Eddie Holm was doing the same thing with both of them cats. Yeah, oh, Dave Allen, we're going to your hometown. It's massive. Lewis Ritson, we're going to Newcastle. It's massive. The Romford Bull. It's massive. And then it's not. And I, I can't lie. Johnny Fish is solid, right? We have to say that. Am I seeing pound for pound skills, though? Am I seeing that? I don't... I, from what I observed, I'm not seeing pound for pound skills. I'm seeing he hits hard, but hits hard against who? We don't know yet. So what I will say is fair play to, for Eddie for calling out Fraser Clark and Fabio Wardley. But, unfortunately, I feel a bit sorry for Johnny, because Johnny, I mean, I don't even think Mark Tibbs would be back in that. If Mark Tibbs had had a choice in this, I don't think he'd have signed off on Eddie Hearn running his mouth about how we're chasing Fraser Clark, we're chasing Fabio Wardley. I think Mark Tibbs knows too much and knows that now is not the time for them, man. I don't know what Eddie Hearn's on. Eddie Hearn should have been calling out the Chisora's, the Chisora Joe Joy situation, Adelaide. Someone in the comments made a good post. Um, Adelaide, he lost a Fraser, he lost a Fabio Wardley, so that makes sense to me. Adelaide, Joyce. Chisora a loser or winner, depending on how sweet, you know what I mean, depending on how gassed you are. And there was someone else, there was another one there. Oh, that was it, Moses Atalma, right? But the problem with that is, I mean, Turkey's got the backing though, Turkey's got the coin. Traditionally, there's no way Frank Warren or Eddie Hearn are going to put their prospects in there with each other, for whatever reason. No one likes to fight hard fights early in their career, because they feel like it's going to write their career off. But hopefully Turkey gets the bag out and says. Because I never, I don't really rate Moses Atalma either. Moses Atalma, here's another one. Moses Atalma is the equivalent of the Romford Bull for Frank Warren. There's all this hype. I've watched the skills. He ain't got no power. That's what I see from Moses Atalma. He, he, went, he was in there with some bum. And that's maybe what you can say about... Um, that's maybe what you can say about the Romford Bull. Look at this here. Heavyweight, yeah? Moses Atalma is a heavyweight... He's fighting all bums, and he's got a 50% KO ratio. That is lacking, people. You have to actually try hard. That's what God's on his true people. Why is it not coming up? That's not right. He's fought recently, I'm sure. I'm sure he fought recently. Why is it saying 2022 for? What? That doesn't make no sense. I'm sure he fought recently. That's mad. That doesn't make no sense. Um... News. I'm trying to find his last fight. Eja. Yeah, so he fought Eja in his last fight. Is that on the box wreck? That's mad. I've never seen box wreck to be lacking like that. Moses Atalma. No, it's not on there. So yeah, he's been more active. What, what is it? What is going on here? What is this? 
What is this moody situation? Moses it Alma. Okay, let's try this now. Here we go. Sorry, that was the wrong. That was mad, wasn't it? That was the wrong resume. That was the wrong resume. I don't know what that was. You, you, you man saw that, didn't you, though? That was mad, wasn't it? What the blow was that? Some next pagan thing. Some next duppy. Someone duppied the YB's computer. Anyway, so he's not got 50% KO ratio. It's not as bad as that, but... I mean, he fair play to him. He's fighting Whack. Whack's a big, stiff body. A big, stiff, heavy bag. Um... I don't know where I've got my narrative from of him not having power, but I mean, I, I watched one of the, I'm sure I watched one of the fights. It must have been this one here. And one of these two. That's what it must have been. I watched one of these two fights, yeah. And I just weren't impressed. I watched it and he was slapping away and I thought, oh, there's something lacking here. Do you know what I mean? Let's look at these cat stats. So there's two fights, six rounds. If Talma went in there and couldn't get the job done. This dude here, oh, he's never been KO'd, though. Oh, he's never been KO'd, fair play to him. So, Huey Fury couldn't stop him. Tom Schwartz couldn't stop him. He knocked out Matty Harris. Oh, this guy's half decent, and Matty Harris was supposed to be the next big thing. He got punched up, so... Matama. So this guy don't get stopped, but still. I find it hard to believe, people, I really do. I find it hard to believe. If you're that good, you couldn't stop this guy. Maybe the Romford Bull should get in there with his cat and make a statement, but... Let's, let's see what this resume is here. He's been KO'd once. When did he get KO'd? He retired after... Oh, he fought... Fucking hell. So Fraser Clark fought this dude. Okay, it was a hand. Fraser Clark fought this dude and he retired with a broken hand. A Atalma fought him and couldn't stop him. He's never been stopped apart from that retirement. So he's another solid one. The part I'm making is people, man. Like, come on, bro. You... You ain't get you ain't getting rid of people. The ones I watched, yeah, you put a bunch of bums in here. You jump on the floor in round one, okay. Everyone raving about him. I'm not seeing it. I'm just not. Maybe if he, I think Whack hasn't been stopped that many times. Who stopped Whack? So Talmud's fighting Whack. Mac Moodoff stopped him. Softer the body, yeah. Soft body Moodoff stopped him. Bacoli stopped him. Miller stopped him. Pavetkin stopped him. Okay. If a Talma don't stop this guy, it's a problem. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to call a spare. But listen, Wax like long in the tooth. He's like 60 years old, people. Right? 45. Yeah, he's 45. Which is essentially 55 for the type of career he's had. Do you know what I'm saying? And who wants to watch that anyway? I don't want to watch that. It's the truth. I want to see the Romford Bull. Eddie, this could be on. To be, to be fair, I think Turkey Turkey would put this on. On the next 5v5, it needs to be the Romford Bull versus Atalma. Right? But outside of that, forget about the Atalma fight. Again, I agree with you in the comment who said it should be that. It should be, for sure. If I was the ordainer of boxing, that fight would be on. Because Eddie Hearn, he'd run in his mouth, right? Eddie Hearn run in his mouth like he wants something. So give it to him. But nonetheless... Whether it's a Talma or Chisora or Joe Joyce or Wardley or Clark, fine. Just make sure, Eddie. Yeah, it's one of them ones. And someone, another comment said actually, Takam. Again, everyone who's anyone has fought Takam. Yeah, Takam is pretty solid. Again, it's that kind of uh, Derek Chisora shtick. I like that for the Romford Bull. That's a step up, because Takam is durable. He never gets, apart from, I think Chisora clipped him early, but he rarely gets clipped early. Bacoli stopped him in four. Um, Joe Joy stopped him in six. Chisora stopped him in eight, sorry. Joshua, ten. So he's getting looser, if you look at the resume. Joshua, ten. Chisora, eight. Joe Joy, six. Bacoli, four. So he's deteriorated. He must be long in the tooth as well. Oh, my God, he's 43. Oh, my God, he's 43, people. He's proper old. As far as this game goes. So he old. But that's the wrong for the bull. I'd be intrigued in that fight. Of course you'd expect. I mean. He, play, Takam got a win. Over Yoka. Takam got a win over Yoka. So. He's still half with it. That fight makes sense. It, what is lacking though. Eddie Hearn wants to make this big wrong for the bull experience. That's not so much there. But. Uh, um, a Johnny Fisher. Versus Chisora. That's going to be like a derby. Johnny Fisher versus Joe Joyce. 
Whoever the loser is of that fight, I wouldn't put him in with a winner. I think I don't see the point in that. The loser of Joyce and Chisora are going to be desperate to take anything. They'll jump at an opportunity to get a win over a Johnny Fisher. And at the same time, the loser of that fight, the loser of Chisora and Fisher, sorry, Chisora and Joyce, is going to be a beatable, a beatable opponent. But the way Eddie Hearn's talking, he wants the winner of Wardley and Clark, and he wants to be in that mix. That's, that's, that's a bit mad for me. That's a bit mad. And maybe I'm being disrespectful. Maybe I'm... Well, from, from what I'm saying, it's implying like Wardley and Clark are better than Joyce and Chisora. I mean... I, I have recency bias. Yeah, After Joe Joyce fought Cash Ali, that was painful to watch for me. I thought, oh no. And Joe Joyce is old as well. He's like 41. So when you're 41 years old and you lost your chin and you're looking that slow, it, it wasn't attractive. At least Fraser Clark, he's quick and he can box. Wardley, he, can, he likes to swing and he's got some speed to him. Joyce is slow and his chin's compromised potentially now. And it just wasn't impressive versus Cash Ali. I wasn't impressed. So I hate to say it, but I do believe the loser of Joyce and Chisora is a lower level than a Wardley or Clark. Put it this way. If the loser of Joyce Chisora, I'd expect Clark or Wardley to beat handedly. Too fresh. Too fresh. Too young. Too much to prove. Anyway, just make Eddie Hearn. Make it. Now you've run your gums, yeah? Now you've bumped your gums. Make it not a bum now. There's no going back now. Now you've talked like that. Yeah, there's no good calling out Fraser Clark and Fabio Wardley and fighting some French dude. And I guess, all, all due respect to the, the ball, Babic, was it a step up? I mean, it was, wasn't it? it was, you'd like to think it was a step up, but the guy is a light heavyweight. That's the truth. Yeah, Alan Babic is a light heavyweight, a lazy light heavyweight, a light heavyweight who don't really want to diet like that and don't want to cut weight and don't want to stay lean year round. If Babic was lean year round, he'd be 175. He'd weigh in 175 and be 185 on the night. That's the kind of dude Babic is. He's not a lick more than six foot tall. If on a good day, with platforms on. Yeah, if Alan, if Alan El Cabage Savage borrowed Anthony Joshua's height boosters, his height boosted insoles, he'd be six foot, right? Outside of that, he looking like 5'11 to me, 5'10. That's the kind of cat Babic looked like to me. So, and he was and he was shot as well. He's been shot. Um, but yeah, let's see how it plays out. Any of these durable names will do, and that's why I, res I do respect what's his name, Atalma, more than can you say? Before the fight, yeah. If we said Marius Wack or Babic, what's the tougher challenge? You'd all say Babic, wouldn't you? So maybe we're not giving the Romford Bull his credit. Because after the fact, we're all saying, oh, no, nah, you know, I think Marius Wax is probably more of a test than Babic. But we weren't saying that before the fight. <laughs> so it's difficult. Maybe, is, is, is the ball that good? Is he just blow, is he blowing through someone who's otherwise durable, like Babic? The only way to test that is to get him in there with a Chisora. Uh, Chisora's never been stopped like that. Joe Joyce now has by Zhang, but Zhang, Zhang ain't playing. I don't believe Derek Chisora has ever been... Has ever had his back blown out in like a round or two, from what I remember. He's a durable dude. Yeah, ten rounds of Fury. Eleven rounds of Dillian White. Ten rounds of Fury. Five rounds of Hay. So Hay's Hay got it. Ten years ago, Hay stopped Chisora in five rounds. So there's no evidence that Chisora's shot worn. He's never been a dude, despite his lack in age. He's never been a man, even when he fought Fury two years ago. The primo Fury, the best Fury most of us were, were, were speculating on. Fury couldn't put him down. So Chisora was solid. But he's there to be hit. And maybe the Romford Bullier could go in there, and I know Chisora will be down for it, right? Chisora's going to be down for that London Derby type of shtick. The Bull could be the one to go in there and try and blow him out in three or four rounds. That's got to be the level, though, if you're talking about Clark and Wardley. Can't be any lower than a Chisora now. For sure. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Smash the like button, subscribe, like off the bell, 100%. There's no doubt about this. People stop it.